G'day, this is Shane Hare from Mackay Area Productivity Services or MAPS and today I'm giving a quick guide video into recording nutrients into your Agtrix farming program. So once you've logged into your account you'll have a satellite image of Australia on your right and on the left there's a series of green buttons. The one that you want to record your nutrient under is located here called nutrient. Click on that once and it will take you to the first step called the event setup and what you want to do is work from top to bottom and fill out the details for this application. The first step is choosing whether it was a planned or an actual event. An actual event is what you would record most of the time um, so you want to choose the date of your application. You can choose an older date if you did the application two weeks ago but we'll leave it as today's date, the 9th of the 6th, 2020. You can click on this little clock button to choose the start time for that application. So seven in the morning. You can choose the number of hours that application took. Might have been three hours. You can type in the, the operator's name. So I'll put in myself. You can put in any accreditation numbers that you might have. So an RT number, usually. I'll put in RT800. And you'll notice that under activities at the moment, that nutrient is the only one selected. But if you were doing a Comfortor application at the same time, say using a steel splitter, you could turn chemical on here. It does add an extra step up the top, but you can... Um, Definitely record Comforter in the same pass. But we'll turn that off for now. You want to choose the crop that you're applying it to. So sugarcane, the growth stage that you're applying it to. So we'll do a, fir a return crop. So it might be spiking through or even post-harvest straight after the harvester. Choose the season that you did it in, 2020. And... You'll notice that in this white box now that it says no areas added. So this is where you choose all the paddocks that you fertilized. To do that, go to the right hand side on the mapping screen, find the farm that you applied the fertilizer to, and you'll notice at the moment all the paddocks appear in blue. To bring in the crops to this paddock, you wanna to go to the top here and click on crop slash fallow. That will bring in all the crops that are on that farm. And you'll notice that we still have two fallows in blue. We have this, these two paddocks here and this one here. So green is anything with a variety on it or crop and your blue are your fallow. To choose the areas that you fertilized, you simply click on the map and select those areas. So as I click these blocks, you'll notice it brings all the information into this white box on the left hand side. So again, if I click this fallow one here, 91, it has brought 91, that which is fallow, and it's an area of 8.92 into this left hand side. To deselect it from here, there's two options. You can use the trash can button, which will remove that from this area here. Or alternatively, you can select it which will bring it in and then click it again and it will remove it from the, the list on the left hand side. If you wanted to do half a paddock, you can do that in the system. So we'll deselect 10 one there. So if we wanted to select half of this paddock, we bring it into the left hand side here. We want to go to this button called edit spatial option on the right that will take you to that area in that paddock. You want to go to the left hand side and click on the little trash can button called delete drawing. Click on the orange area, it will delete that from view. Then you want to go back to the left hand side and click on the little pen button called new drawing. And you want to draw around the paddock draw in the area that you might have fertilized. So if you fertilized half that paddock you can draw that area in, finish the drawing by connecting the dots. That will highlight the orange area that you're fertilizing. Once you're happy with that area, press save up the top right. 
that's now brought that area into here and changed the area section here. If I zoom out, you can still see we've got this block highlighted and half of this paddock highlighted. Once you're happy with the areas, you use the next button at the bottom. This takes you to step two, which is a putting on the nutrient blend. So in the drop down box, you'll see we have all the products available. If you want to quickly search to one, start typing it into the list and it'll automatically find it. You'll notice that as I put in DAP, it's brought in the breakdown or composition of that product. So this DAP has 18% nitrogen, 20% phosphorus, 0% potassium and 2% sulfur. Because we're doing a return mix, we want to find something that's more relevant. Niger King S maybe. And if you are asking about custom blends, you can make custom blends in the system. You want to use the plus button here. Click that once. You can give your custom blend a nickname. Say Shane's Return Custom Blend. And you can put in the percentages of NP and K yourself into that custom blend based on the label for your product. So you can make custom blends once I save that that will appear in this drop down box for later use. So you only have to create your custom blends once and they should appear in this drop down box. So the next step is we'll leave it as Nitro King S and the next step is choosing your application method. So for Nitro King S, it would be, we're doing it on returns. So we might be doing a still splitter and it's putting subsurface and it's a dry product. If you were going to put on a dunder, recorded dunder product, that would be surface banded liquid. If you're putting on Comfortor, that would be stool split subsurface liquid. So that's what you do there. You want to put in the rate that you applied. So if I put in 300, 300, you'll see automatically it's calculating how much nitrogen that is going on at 300. So if I put the units to kilos per hectare, you'll notice that at 300 kilos per hectare, we're putting on 81 kilos a hectare of nitrogen. So we might want to change that and bump it up a little bit, 600, and now we're putting on 162 kilos of N. If that's a little bit too much, you can bump that down using the arrow button, 580. And now we're putting on 156.6 kilos of nitrogen. Once you're satisfied with your entries there, go to the bottom right hand corner and press next. It does give you the option to record weather. So if you wanted to put the rain that you might have forecast after this event, you can do. If not, you can skip past weather for nutrient as it's not an audited requirement. Press next again. And the final step is your final confirmation stage. So basically going over all the details you're about to record, we've got an actual event occurring on the 9th of the 6th, three hours, operator was Shane, there's my accreditation number. The total area of the blocks was 12.99 hectares. We've got the two paddocks here highlighted in orange. We've got the nutrient product was Notch King S put on with the stool splitter going subsurface at a rate of 580 kilos per hectare. If I put in weather details, that would appear here, but I didn't. So once you're happy with that, simply press the green button down the bottom right hand corner. And when this is successful, you'll get a message down the bottom saying event save successful. So that was part one of nutrient recording video. In step part two, we will look at that application, where to find that one we just recorded, and also how to print a report for that one. So I hope this video was of use, and we'll see you in the next one.